Hello everybody, welcome back. Haven't seen you for a while. Today we are going to continue talking about the books of the Bible. And if you've been following along, today we will be up to 1 Samuel. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about that book, 1 Samuel. But before we do all that, let's practice going over the list. So let's start with Genesis and let's go all the way to today's 1 Samuel. Are you ready? All right, get your list out if you need it, or you can try to just do it from memory. Now, if you don't have a list, all you need to do is grab your Bible and turn to turn the first few pages until you see the books of the Bible. All right, and we are going to go down the Old Testament list, but we are going to stop at 1 Samuel. All right, are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel. That is where we are today. And I'm going to tell you just a little bit of First Samuel. Well, now, Israel has not heard from God for decades. Now, that's a long time. The priests, they're corrupt. They're not doing good. And the nearby nations threatened the land's safety. Even Eli, the high priest and judge of Israel, is not faithfully serving God and the people. All right. Israel needs more than a judge. Israel needs to hear from God again, Israel needs a prophet. So God gives them Samuel. Samuel serves the people as a prophet and judge. And he speaks the word of the Lord to the people and teaches them how they can live as the people of God. But when Samuel grows old, when Samuel grows old and Israel's enemies attack, the people demand that Samuel appoint a king. And Samuel advises them to trust God and not human leadership. But the people do not listen. And they are determined to have a king rule over them and deliver them from the enemy. So God gives them Saul. Now here's something you need to know about Saul. Saul is a foolish, selfish, cowardly kind of a king, and he ignores the word of the Lord, and he craves, that means wants really, really bad, the approval of men. He disobeys God several times, oversteps his duties, and puts the people at odds with God and with each other. King Saul does not keep the law of Moses and does not direct the Israelites to live as God's holy people. So God gives them David. The Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. And have you heard the story before about David and, David and Goliath? Yeah, what's well, that? David. So now you know just a little bit of First Samuel. You know what comes after First Samuel? Second Samuel. So let's practice the books of the Bible Again, starting with Genesis and ending with today's First Samuel. Are you ready? Get ready. Take a deep breath. You ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and today's First Samuel. All right. Until next time. Bye, everybody.